Hello y'all. Welcome to part 8 of my Country Ball Catch Em All playthrough. Country Ball Catch Em All is a ROM hack for Pokemon Fire Red. And in part 7 we finished up our business on Pascua Island, I think it's called. And we fought an Easter Island Country Ball at the World Tree. And now we're back in the city of Salampanada. And we're at the gym of the trainer here. We're going to get our second badge. Hopefully we're fighting a water type country ball trainer. And this is our team currently. We call it a... Well, they're not on our team right now. Most of them aren't anyway. We call it a... In the last video, we called a Peru, a Monaco. You can see Peru at least. And a, a Naru. And what else? A lot of fem... We have one male country ball here. The rest of them are female. We call it a Naru, Peru, Monaco, and that was it. That's what we called on Pascua Island. There was a few other, couple other country balls I couldn't capture, but I'll go back there one day, maybe. But now we're in the second gym. We're gonna get our second badge, hopefully. We already have our first badge. That's the Rough Rider badge. We got that from Bergopolis in like part three, I think, or part two, somewhere around there. We got that from Theodore Roosevelt. That was the first trainer. Now we're gonna fight Boliviar. Bolivier, I think that's his name. Whatever, let's go here though, fight this trainer. And this is a jungle girl type trainer. Mr. Boliviar lets us live here in exchange for keeping the, what? Keeping the planet, the plants all fed and watered. That's pretty generous of him. Oh, and battering, battling trainers too. So this is a jungle girl type trainer, very common on, well they were very common on Pascua Island, which we were at. And Boliviar, we're fighting jungle girl, Yanita, I think that's her name. I believe it is. And she sent out Tonga. Okay, so we're going to send out the Russian Empire, which is a fire type. Let's use Flank. Maybe that's good against water. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Hopefully it is. It is not. It's not very effective. We're just having to rely on the Russian Empire's brute strength. Tonga, use threaten. That's not good. Let's have... Yeah, it's defense fail. we, we got to swap out. Let's... Or no, just use Blast. Try to use Blast. We have items to help out. Okay, that was a critical hit. That helps. And Boliviar was on Pascua Island when we went there earlier in part... Seven, he was there because somebody told him a fire was going out, going on on the island, and he wanted to put it out. But when we got there, he said he didn't actually manage to find a fire, and somebody had told him some false information. Anyway, from this fight with the Tonga, the Russian Empire got 203, 283 experience points. I'm just giving some background background information leading up to our current situation. Jungle Girl Yanita is sitting out in Nauru, which is a island in the Pacific, I think. Don't switch out country balls. And we have our own Naru on our team, but we're going to have a fire type versus a pure water type. Let's use our blast move we used on Tonga. Maybe that might be effective since it's normal. Naru used North Fist. Okay, ouch. It did a little bit of damage. 1 HP. 1 HP again. Yeah, it's not very effective. And this Naru is a Naru. Yeah, they're a level 16. Russian Empire uses blast once more. We're just going to use blast to take out the rest of Yanida's team. I think there's another Naru. Naru after this, possibly. Not entirely certain of that, although they keep damaging my Russian Empire, who's level 27. Come on, Russian Empire, you can take care of them. You got this. And my Russian Empire country ball evolved from the Moscow starter country ball that we had at the very beginning of this playthrough. And they had to evolve at, we got 331 experience points, Jungle, jungle Girl Yanita, what she had to say. She says, ha ha ha, I can't wait to see you battle Simon. Who's Simon? We got 1,280... 1,280 Poke Dollars from that, and yeah, the Russian Empire evolved from our starter Moscow, which was a fire type, and Russian Empire is a purely fire type as well, and there's Bolivia, but hey, we're not going to fight him yet, let's fight this person though, and yeah, that had to be a level 16 for Moscow to evolve. I love a good battle, this person says, this girl says, let's go, this is Kowitsha girl something, that's the type of trainer she is, we encounter them also on Jung, on Pascua Island. Like the jungle girl type trainer, this is Kwitcha girl, Diana. She has one country ball. It's Martinique. Martinique. That is big. It's a pure water type. Though. Nice flag, though, I will say. This, well, this ROM hack game, whatever. This country ball catch mall has really opened my eyes to a lot of interesting flags around the world. Not gonna lie. And Martinique. Martinique used defense. Well, they used sanction or some move that caused the Russian Empire's defense to fall. It's whatever though, because the Russian Empire is going to take them out. They use Signal Jam. What's that going to do? Did it make our Russian Empire stunned? They became confused. That's not good. Come on, don't get too confused. Okay, they're confused. Too much. The ducks are going around their head. It's hurt. It hurt itself in its confusion. And it dealt 
more than like 10 HP to itself. Oh no. Stop being confused. Don't hit yourself. Stop being confused. It hurt itself in its confusion. Stop. Stop. Okay. Clearly I need to do something about the confusion issue. Martinique use fire hose. That's going to be super effective. No, it damages firepower. Well, fire's power as an element type. And is the Russian Empire still confused? It's still confused. Great. So it's going to hit itself once again with blast. I am damaging my own country ball. Okay, got the land there. We won the battle, though. I got to heal Russian Empire, though. Martinique fainted. Martinique, yeah, fainted. And Russian Empire gained 451 experience points. Great. And creature girl Diana was defeated. What she had to say. Wow, you really didn't hold back on me. No, I beat your water tide with a fire tide. Of course I did. We got 304 Poké Dollars for that. What did she say after we beat her? She says, I hope you have the same vigor battling other trainers. But well, there's only one more trainer after this. Let's heal up our Russian Empire with an item. Go to our backpack. Use a MRE. No, use a dirty ration. It will restore HP by 50 points. Use it on the Russian Empire to back up to max HP now. And the rest of our team is at max HP just in case the Russian Empire goes down. We need to swap one of our country balls out. Let's fight Olivia here. Oh, is he the same? Is he the same? Wow, he's, I think he's the same. Well, his character seems to be a reference to the the guy who was in Grand Columbia. I think his name was Bolivar too, possibly. Anyway, you're the trainer I met on Pascula Island, no? Ha 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 ha! I've been waiting for this. I want to see the same gusto, the same brilliance in battle you showed before. I want to see everything. Huzzah! And let's see what their trainer sprite's gonna look like. Yeah, he's clearly based off of the South American revolutionary hero, Flagmaster Boliviar. That's his title. He sent out Belize, okay? And Belize is a level 18. Terrific. So Russian Empire is going to use use tactical ID. That's not a good idea. Why do I use that? It's a fire type move. It's a water type. Bad. Okay, actually, that actually worked out somehow. Critical hit. But it wasn't very effective though. I'll take it though. Belize use closed border. That will raise their defenses. I can't believe tactical ID, a fire type move, got a critical hit. Right off the bat. Let's try to use Blast and take out Belize as quick as possible. And there we go. Well, very close. Not good enough. Belize uses Rebuild and they get some more HP. That's bad. Use Blast again. Hope they don't, I hope they don't use Rebuild again. Don't use Rebuild. Stop rebuilding! Stop rebuilding. Just let the Russian Empire destroy you. Just let it happen. Stop regaining HP. You don't need it. So let me damage you. Don't use... Okay, they use Close the Border. That will raise their defenses. Very interesting country ball that can regain HP with their moves. Use Blast. Take out this one. Come on, stop rebuilding. Stop rebuilding. Stop rebuilding Belize. Just take the devastation and just accept the fact it's happening. Let the Russian Empire hit you harder. Just let it... Oh my. Stop closing the borders. Stop rebuilding. This is a problem. And all the moves for this ROM hack are like this too. They're all renamed to more top... Well, political topical stuff. Not topical, but more political sounding things involving international countries. Stop rebuilding. That's like the fourth or fifth time now. Stop regaining HP. You don't need to do that. Please use rebuild. It's going to be a full HP, isn't it? I want to use some kind of move to stun you at the rate we're going. Let's call in. Actually, no. Let's keep doing what we're doing. Use Renaissance, though. Renaissance is going to harshly lower the speed of Belize. And that's going to be bad for them. Oh, as well. I mean, unless we're able to take them out. Please use an able cannon. That's going to do some damage. Maybe. Yes, it does. It's a super effective move. As long as they're not using rebuild, I don't care. Russian Empire uses blast. Don't rebuild. They use an able cannon again. It's a water type move. Ouch. And Russian Empire's not faring too well. Use blast one more time and switch out. Okay, no, it was a critical hit. I'll take that. That took out Belize. They're gone. No more naval cannons were rebuilding there. Russian Empire gained 408 experience points. They're going to level up to level 28. And now they're, yeah, they're level 28. Yay. Boliviar is sending out Guam. We're going to defeat Guam, which is going to be a water type, I guess, like Belize. I mean, it, this is a water type gem. So we do have to defeat them. Boliviar sent out Guam. Oh, a nice tree, though. I do like the tree. I think it's a... Poi? It's not poison. I think it's like a ground water fairy type. I think it's water fairy type, yeah. Use Blast. We're just going to use Blast to try and overwhelm the Guam. Try to do that. I do like the sprite for it, though. They use naval cannon. Oh, no, not naval cannon. Naval cannon. And Russian Empire has been forced to be fainted. Great. Well, I'm, I think my, my fortunes here are going to go up in smoke. We have... I mean, we have Peru. I believe in you, Peru. If one of you can apply poison somehow. Peru is a grass poison type. They have data leak. 
and let's use Data Leak. And they use Heat Missile on Peru, who's going to go down. They use Data Leak, though. Took some damage there. Then they leached their HP slightly. It's super effective, even though, due to Guam, it had its troops converted. Due to Peru's... They use Naval Cannon. Peru is dead. Mo team's going to get knocked out. I should have healed. Okay, it's not very effective. I should have healed the freaking Russian Empire when I had the chance. Peru's become confused. Send out someone else. Send out a different country. Guam is OP. Peru, I need to send someone else out. They use Data League. They're going to go down. Well, at least you did some damage, Peru. Nice job. You did something. And maybe it seems that Guam is vulnerable to grass types. At least Peru got 4 HP. Maybe if Guam misses... Oh, there we are. Let's switch you out, though. Countries. What do we have? What's our next highest level? Naru, who is a water type, like Guam, but they're a low, lower level, significantly, like seven, eight levels lower. Seven, I think. Guam uses unrecognized. What does that even do? That did something. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Use strike. Just use strike. We got to be attrition warfare here. They have only two country balls. Guam is Naru is going to go down in a couple hits. Great. They're confused though. That's not ideal. That's not ideal at all. Naru is confused. Great. So, it hurt itself in its confusion. Now Naru is going to faint. I really botched this gem, haven't I? And this ROM hack has no XP share for the record. Send out Slovakia. They just have a lot of HP. Maybe they can tank some hits from the from their normal type. Completely normal. Use Brainwash. They used Heat Missile on Slovakia. Slovakia just has a lot of HP. It doesn't matter because they're down. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, country balls. We have all these country balls. They're just getting knocked out left and right. Send out Burkina Faso. They have Nerve Agent. As long as you can poison them, I don't care. Use Nerve Agent. If you can move. They use Naval Cannon. They're not going to be able to move. It's over. They're dead. They're dead or not. It's not very effective, but it's still one shot in my level 8 Burkina Faso. I did not grind any, any other of these country balls except for the Russian... Well, the Russian Empire is the best one I had. Tajikistan, I believe in you. It's your time to shine. Make Central Asia proud. You got this, Tajikistan. Take out Guam. They're actually... Their, well, Guam's attack was cut by Tajikistan. Use some type of poison move, maybe. Guam uses naval cannon. Will one shot Tajikistan, and down goes Tajikistan. Yes, Tajikistan is gone. Eleven level difference there. Tajikistan fainted. This is why you don't put all your hopes on one particular country ball. It was just a disaster because of that. I need to have a more well-rounded team. Let's go to items. Can we revive anyone? We have a little Vera first aid kit. That's not going to help. Yeah, maybe let's try to use it. We'll work on the Russian Empire. It won't have any effect because they're fainted. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to accept defeat here. Bolivia is going to defeat us. I may have to redo this gem. Just go out with a fight. Use the data leak, please, Peru. For now, they got hit by some move. Great. There goes Peru. And there goes our entire team because I have. Okay, we're out of usable countries. We lost against Flagmaster Bolivia. Well, at least I lost against, uh, we paid some prize money. We wide it out. We lost 448 Poké Dollars. Great. Just great. We scurried to a local doctor and healed up our team. You should heal up your country balls, obviously. Yes, thank you, Nurse Joy. Thank you. I wish I had a better team. And I have, how much money do I have at this point? Let me check. We hope you excel, whatever. I don't, I hope I don't have to fight those other trainers again. Okay, let me check my stats here for how much money I have at this point. Check my stats, go to Lemming, our profile, and I have 10,000 some money. I don't want to lose any more. I'm not going to lose more to the water type gem leader. Russian Empire, I'm going to do it with a fire type. I'm going to beat the water gem with a fire type, like it or not. I will make it happen. Do I have to fight these people again? Maybe. Yes. Or no, I just have to fight them. That's how that works. So let's fight again. You're a trainer, man, on School Island. No, ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha, brilliant battle. I want to show you, see everything. Huzzah. Let's do this. Fire, I mean Russian Empire. Solo them, please. And I will say our protagonist is from a place called Leafland. Or like a, in the region we're in is called Terra. So we're basically, our protagonist is a fantasy Canadian. They are a Canadian from, well they're people based off of Canadians. Use Blast. Or yeah, use Blast. Don't rebuild yourself, please. Just take the hit. They use Closed Border. Good. At least the Russian Empire will have full HP for this occasion. I think they had almost full HP last time, but they just got beaten down by Naval Cannon constantly. Please use Rebuild. Naval Cannon did it. Yeah, Naval Cannon was the real 
one that did the real damage there. Keep using Blast. Just use Blast so they fall over. Belize, use your build. And we're continuing this a little problem again. Stop regain health. You can only use rebuild so much. Just take the blast. Please accept it. Please use enable cannon. Okay, there's our offensive firepower. Ouch. That did like 20 damage. Keep doing and they're confused. Great, so Russian Empire became confused. Not ideal. I will say Russian Empire is confused. Will they hit themselves in their confusion? I hope not. Hit them. Okay, they hit them with blast. Good. Did that take them out? It is not. They used rebuild. Why the oh no. That's bad. That's bad. Please regain health. And can we get rid of Confuse? Do we have any items for that? Confuse. Aloe Vera. I mean, Icy Hot Aloe Vera. That's burned stuff. No. This isn't going to work. I guess we're just going to have to deal with Confusion and try to heal our Country Ball when appropriate. Yes, yeah, snap that Confusion. Good thing that didn't last. Use Blast again. Take out Belize. Need a critical hit. They use Rebuild. Stop rebuilding! Belize! You make this pain! Why must you do this to me? Use Blast. Oh no. Close border. They keep closing the border. Police defense rose. Well, I guess close border is better to fight against than rebuild. They use naval cannon out. We're going to take out Belize after this turn. And we got to heal up the Russian Empire immediately after we take out Belize when Guam comes out. Boliviar use first aid kit. Oh no, he has items. Oh no. Oh no. Russian Empire use Blast. Well, I hope he only has one first aid kit. Let's use Blast and heal up. The Russian Empire believes he's going to use closed borders. Or not. I think I could risk one more naval cannon shot. After that, I definitely have to heal the Russian Empire for sure. I hope Boliviar has no more health kits. No more first aid kits. Because if he does, we're going to be out here, out here forever. Keep attacking them, please. Keep fighting them. Please use closed border. Okay, no naval cannon just yet. Just keep it that way. Oh, they're raising their defense like crazy. Use blast. Keep using blast to overwhelm their defenses. Please use their build. They're so defensive oriented. They have stuff that hardens well, makes their defenses high. They have regain HP type moves. It's really annoying. Keep doing damage. Please is going to use naval cannon now. Maybe their plan is to just use, do all that building up their stats and attack. Super effective move. Got to heal the Russian Empire with the first aid kit we have on hand. Or maybe the 24-hour ration. Use the MRE. They use the MRE, actually. 80 points from this. It came out. Well, it's the best time to use it. 64-point recovery. Belize use naval cannon once again. That's going to do some damage. Ouch. It's 53. I'm going to use a lot of my healing items, aren't I? I'm going to have to. At least when we fight Guam with the Russian Empire, they can't really heal. That's actually, okay, take out Belize with, a, Belize with a critical hit. I will win this gem battle against a water-type gem leader with a fire-type. We got 408 experience points, Flagmaster Boliviar. It's sitting out Guam, change country balls. Okay, so what we're going to do is maybe just have our team switch out, just build up to the Russian Empire fighting Guam, maybe have Burkina Faso maybe do some damage. And here comes the, here comes Guam. Okay, so Guam is right there. Use Nerve Agent. Try to. Guam's going to one-shot Burkina Faso, though. Unfortunately for them. Down they go. That did not go as planned. Just switch out back to the Russian Empire again. Doesn't matter. Go to the Russian Empire. Attack them when you can. They're a fairy water type, I'm pretty sure. They're going to probably use Naval Cannon a lot. They will, yeah. We're going to have to constantly heal the Russian Empire. If they take too much damage. we got to heal you now. You have to be healed. This is level 28 versus level 21. Use our items. Use first aid kit on the Russian Empire so they can be back up in action. HP was restored by 50 points. Okay, good. And Guam's going to use naval cannon this time again. They're just going to spam naval cannon, aren't they? They are. Yes, so maybe I can withstand one more attack from it and I got to use another healing item. Use blast. Please take some damage. Guam, use naval cannon once more. Got to heal Russian Empire. They don't get one shot. They are close to death. I gotta heal them. Use the items here. Use the 24 hour potion. I mean, ration. That's gonna do what? It's like, how much HP is that? Okay, that is 60 points. Good. So, when we stand one more shot, I'm gonna use naval cannon once more. Terrific. Ouch. So, we can take maybe one more shot. And that's gonna be it for us with the Russian Empire for now. Use blast again. Just keep doing damage to them gradually. They use rebuild. That's unfortunate. So that's a problem for sure. 
That is definitely a problem. Keep using Blast. I can't use Tactical IED. It won't work if we do. They use Naval Cannon. Why does he have to have so many Country Balls to just heal themselves? Country... Well, the Russian Empire is almost dead. Not good items what we have. Dirty Ration. 50 HP recovery there. I definitely need a better team. I need more variety on the team, to be more accurate. Guam used Unrecognize. That's some move that will deal a little bit of damage. Do they have enough PP to keep using Naval Cannon over and over and over? I hope they don't. Russian Empire uses Blast. One more move, they use Naval Cannon. Oh no, don't one-shot them. They're gonna one-shot them, maybe. Okay, let's call back Russian Empire. Or no. At least do enough damage. Tactical ID would be good, but we can't do anything to him. That's the problem. We gotta rely on our moves here. I may have to freaking buy health items. I have to buy health items, don't I? I can't let him have this much trouble with the second gym leader. Let's take out our... Go to countries. Well, we could just fight on with the Russian Empire. Let's use Blast and hope we can do enough damage with a second. Oh, it's a critical hit! Yes! 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 Critical hit! Thank you, game! Thank you, Guam has fainted. Russian Empire gained 931 experience points. Sweet victory for Russia against Guam. The water type, fairy type, country ball. Okay, good. Flagmaster Bolivia was defeated. What's he have to say? Simply magnificent. Bravo. You are more than deserving of the tactics badge. That's what we're going to get from him. We got 2,001, 2,100 Poké Dollars for winning. Good. And does he have any HMs or anything? What a fight. Bre breathtaking. All inspiring. There's something else I'd like for you to have. Lemming received. TM, Naval Cannon from Boliviar. Now that's going to come in handy. TM-03 in the TM case. This is Naval Cannon. It's a tactic you can teach to most water type country balls. I know no no I know no one more deser deserving of it than you. Yes, I beat you with a fire type. I have to be deserving of it. What does he have to say? This is Naval Cannon. It's a tactic you can teach to most water type country balls. Okay, he's just saying the same stuff again. Let's leave them. We got our badge. And there's a guy in this South Panada town with some rocks. Well, he's guarding a house, and he may you may be able to fight him now. Now that we've got the gym badge here. Let's see that badge. Just so we can look at it. Okay, it's a soccer ball. I mean, football. I'll take it. Looks nice. And let's maybe advance more. We'll go up here into this center and heal up our team. Well, more like, more accurately heal up the Russian Empire who did all the work, except for one of our country balls that fainted because they were just so low level. And there we are, all in simply tip top shape. Come again. Let's leave here. And advance on. We're advanced. Well, advance the story by fighting this guy, maybe. Let's fight you. Can we fight you? We're doing renovations here. Come back later. And we can't get in there. We... Where do we go now? There is some places here that are... What? There's some places here we can go to that are... There are some caves here that are, like... They go to different locations. Like, one is... I think one... This is Sir Arabia, maybe? Yeah, Sir Arabia. Just called Sir Arabia. What do they have to say? Hmm. You don't look well suited for the harsh sands of Kairut. I think it's the... Region of Sir Arabia, there's a city called... Well, you're looking to go to Sir Arabia. You should keep your eyes open. The Royal Guard won't take kindly to a stranger such as yourself. Just roaming about. And this cave... Oh, we're going to have a trainer battle. Who are you? You look lost, Traveler. Don't worry. I'll help you get back home. In a casket. Oh, that's violent. Violent. But this place we're in now, we were closed off access to it earlier. Who are we fighting? What are you? Challenged by Sir Arabian, Sir Arabian the Deem. And obviously, the whole thing about the about Sarabia and Cairo, their fantasy Middle Easterners, maybe Saudi Arabia. They have Saudi Arabia on their team. That is a ground normal, no normal type Saudi Arabia level 16 versus Russian Empire, who is level 28, and they both have swords, very nice swords. Use tactical IED. Since we're not fighting water types anymore, we're just going to spam that. It's a very effective move. Saudi Arabia uses blast. Okay, so just use tactical IED once more on Saudi Arabia. They have been dealt some damage, and down they go. They fainted. And like I was saying earlier, the place right now was blocked off to us prior to that gym battle, so it's good that we're able to explore more, that we have access to more areas. Russian Empire gained 507 experience points. We're taking out to Saudi Arabia. Sir so Arabian Nadim is sending out Gibraltar. We're not going to change our country balls, just stay in the field. Gibraltar is a normal flying type. They're everywhere in this world. In the region of Terra, as it's called. Let's use Tactical ID. It just works, frankly. I mean, it's the tried and true move I have of tactic. 
Oh, tactics, not moves. In this ROM hack. Got 187 XP from that. Now the Deem is going to send out another Gibraltar. Don't care. Keep fighting them. Send out all the Gibraltars you want. We just one-shot them anyway. Level 16 Gibraltar. Tactical ID them, please. They use Gorilla. They did a critical hit. Great. Whatever. Oh, and by the way, after this battle, I think, the Russian Empire is going to be level 29. Which is good. Down goes Gibraltar. They fainted. And the Russian Empire got what? They got 187 experience points. Level 29 now. Russian Empire grew to level 29. Good. Maybe they might evolve in the next level. Not sure. Nadim says, things just didn't work. Lemming got 960 Pokey Dollars. Well, I'm glad we, glad we won. That guy threatened my life. I want to get stronger. What's your secret? I don't know. Having the Russian Empire on my team? Who are you? Oh, this is a wild country boss here. I may need to go back to Sal Empanada and try. Let me retreat. Can I retreat, please? I'd like to retreat. Let me retreat. Okay, we retreated. Let's leave this area and go back to Sal Empanada. I need to trade out a lot of my team just so I can make room on my team to get more country balls. I may need to buy some town balls as well. They're not called pokey balls in this world. And I do want to definitely see what that guy is up to at that house entrance over there to the right, but we can't. He won't move just yet. Let's go to the PC, boot that up, which PC should be accessed, access someone's PC, country storage, system opened, deposit country, I need to deposit a lot of countries, put in Burkina Faso, store, put in Nauru store, put in Peru, good, Tajikistan, good, Slovakia, good, I'm not doing a lot of grinding with any of these except the Russian Empire, which could be a mistake, but I just want to keep having a, I need a bigger flag book, which is this, ROM hacks, Pokédex. I need to heal the Russian Empire, then I got, gotta go buy some items, probably. So heal up our Russian Empire, please. Hurry up, nurse Joy, I beg of you. There we go, all in simply tip-top shape, good. And let's go on here, go down here, go to a shop somewhere around here. Where is it at? It's back over here next to the entrance from that cave that got us to Sun Panada from the Texi Mexi Dunes. Talk to this cashier, how may I help you? Bye. Let's buy some town balls. We need like 10 of them at the very least. We have 13,000 Poke Dollars at this point, so we have a lot of money to go around. That's 10 town balls. Yes, we need those. And let's get like 20 Happy Meals, maybe. Or at least a couple first aid kits. Get a few of them. We need like one of every status effect item that can help us out when we need it to. I mean, at least three of each, I'd say. We don't want any more first aid kits. Get like 10 Happy Meals, though cause our country balls need those to survive. They're like potions in this world. So get those, get a vaccine next. And yes, I want 10 of those, thank you. Get these vaccines. They are good for poison effects. Get three of them. Get three of everything here in the shop cause it's nice to have those in our backpack. Yes, we want three of them. Now let's buy some Icy Hot, then some Kofefe, then maybe not some Alora Vera. No, I don't want just one. I gotta buy more. That's my bad. Buy three. Buy three. There we go. That's three Icy Hot. That's gonna help with, I think, paralysis. Now we gotta buy Kofefe. That's gonna be good for waking up our country balls from sleep status effects. And a little Vera, we already have one. We haven't used it, but I'd like to have it regardless. Nice. Now let's get a couple of these. Get a few a little Vero's and get two more escape ropes and three pepper sprays. That's all I need. And here that's all this shop has left we need to buy. Get a couple escape ropes and you want one. Oh, I meant to buy two. Whoops. Buy two. Yeah, I gotta buy two. Buy two escape ropes. We already have one in our bag. $1,100 for that. Now I'll get some pepper spray, three of that, and that's gonna stop weak wild Pokemon, well wild country balls from attacking us. Three pepper sprays, $1,050 for that. Okay, good. Now let's continue on our journey. Quit shopping. Quit sharp. And now we gotta leave. Let's go get back to the Surabia place. Get down there. See what's up there. Let's run this way. Get back to Surabia. I wanna at least encounter some battle before I end this video there. Because we're gonna be in Surabia when this video ends. This part 8 ends. Let's look around here. Anybody around? Anything? Anything? I'm looking around. There's some trainers. I see them. Let's catch whatever this is. Whatever it is, I'm catching it if I don't already have it. Where are you? West Sahara. Okay, I'll definitely catch you. 
Russian Empire takes the stage. They're ground type. Is there a lot of ground types out here? Seems to be the case. Use Blast. Do some damage. And they're going to be... Okay, they use Kevlar. All right, let's use a Town Ball, though, to capture them and put them on our team. And we're going to do that. Use our items. Town Ball. Well, no, that's not it. Town Ball. Okay, throw one of them. Just toss it at them. They should go in there. They're pretty weak at that point. They've lost a lot of their hit points. And I'm going to read their flag book entry once they're caught. Stay in there. Thank you, West Sahara. Gotcha. West Sahara was caught. And they have a flag book entry of, let's see here, 61. There is no internet in West Sahara. Or government. Or people, actually. And they are classified as a number 161, West Sahara. They are classified as a off-grid country. Okay, then we have West Sahara, though. Give a nickname to the captured West Sahara? No. But I think I'm going to end part 8 of my Country Ball Catch em All playthrough here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'm going to take out this West Sahara for the record, just so we know what happened to it. But anyway, I'll see y'all later. Bye.